I V M. Hey guys, welcome to the Positively Unlimited podcast. Today I'm talking about a very interesting word, a word that has been relegated to corporate spaces or to work-related deals. But it's not something that we usually think about in terms of our personal relationships. Today I'm talking about N for negotiate. Over time because of cultural and society based conditioning, we've all been taught to adjust and compromise. A lot of us have been told this is how it is, just make do with it. Then there came the noise of rebellion and a whole bunch of us got up and said, "You know what? This is how it is, make do with it doesn't work for us." So we refuse to settle, we refuse to compromise, we refuse to adjust. Now, in this scenario, in this rebellion rather, what happened is we went from one extreme to the other. And on the other extreme where we find ourselves today, where a lot of us are standing, we are well sinking in emotions of fear that you will be forced to do something that you don't want to do you will get stuck because you don't want to let somebody down because you feel guilty you feel that you will get trapped in something then there's that sense of entitlement also which comes up because the ego is possibly trying to protect your sense of self and your desires and all of it is coming from a rebellion towards that one word which is compromise So today I'm going to well throw light on another very interesting word and one that is possibly way more useful to a lot of us and that is negotiate. We all need to learn to negotiate in our lives. Negotiate in everything and with everyone. Why do we need to do that? So that we can make the most of what we have and add to that we need to be able to negotiate so that we as people in different relationships can come together to be stakeholders and participants in the life that we are building so let me tell you what you don't want to do first <laughs> always start with the don'ts right let's get that out of the way you don't want to step into a conversation which should actually be a discussion and a negotiation but unfortunately it ends up being an argument you don't want to step into that kind of a scenario with feelings of guilt fear or then feeling intimidated you also don't want to walk into such a scenario with the attitude of my way or the highway remember that also comes from fear even if it is only your ego talking the ego is the bouncer the universe has given me to protect my sense of self so if your ego is standing up front then ask yourself what are you actually afraid of so when you enter a space a conversation in any relationship whether it's parent sibling friend lover partner whoever even your boss or colleagues and you want to negotiate what you are essentially trying to do is one express yourself clearly to avoid getting pushed into doing something that you don't want to do and you're very clear about and three convince the opposite person to do what you think is right that is an overview of what certain conversations with our loved ones are actually all about that is the essence of it now what are the things that are mandatory for well a good solid negotiation one is to listen Now if you are afraid that you're going to be forced to do something or you are not going to have the courage to say no then you're not going to be listening. You walk in with a wall that's way high up and because you are not listening you are well already in a defensive state. And it either turns into an argument or it turns into a space where one person feels unheard and the other person feels unfairly treated. So one key aspect of negotiating in conversations in different relationships is to listen the second piece is to know very clearly what you want 
and hear this part carefully it's to know what you want and what is possible now what do i mean by what is possible this person that you are going to be talking to this person that you are going to be negotiating with is a loved one and you know them and you know what they are okay with and what they are not okay with if you give it a good thought you will know what kind of boundaries they have placed and in what situations or mindsets or ways of thinking they are very stuck up now if you want to be a good negotiator in relationships then you have to walk in with this knowledge and you have to use it when you want to convince a parent to let you do a course that is completely different from what they would like you to do in your career you cannot just throw a tantrum and say but this is what i want to do when you never understand me what you want to do is walk in with an analysis that says listen i understand why you are telling me to do this course and this is what the future looks like but in today's day and age if i do this other course then the future looks like this and i have spoken to four people and this is what is going on in their life if you are trying to negotiate something with a partner and you want to do something and your partner is not for it well one you have to listen to his or her concerns and two you have to break those concerns down with rational explanations and with faith related notions rather than saying you always do this you never listen to me you never let me do anything that i want to do when you come from those words you are standing in the space of feeling trapped you yourself are feeling unheard and you are coming with fear if you walk into a space into a conversation which should actually be a negotiation with fear it is definitely going to turn into an argument or into not so pleasant experience that's what's going to happen now why did i choose this word negotiate because i find a lot of people going into either victim energy because what they want is not happening they feel like they're not being allowed to do it they feel that you know if they do it someone that they love is not going to be happy with it all of these pieces come up or then there is this really loud noise of it's my way or the highway and i want everyone who is listening to this to understand that entitlement is an illusion and it is not a virtue nobody is entitled to any thing nobody so you cannot stand there with your ego and say my way or the highway remember one thing the person who listens to you and gives in to you does it because they love you and they don't want to lose you but subconsciously they have no respect for you subconsciously they don't think very highly of you and what you have done is you have gone and asserted power and you may have some amount of control but in reality you are creating resentment in that relationship and because of this there will be many instances of conflict in this relationship if somebody is not willing to go your way instead of saying then head to the highway you want to ask them why give me your point of view always be willing to listen to somebody else's point of view because you never know what you're going to learn there and you never know what tool or trick or key that you really need right now is in that conversation the other piece to understand when you are well negotiating in a relationship negotiating for something that you want always know that there is a 30% chance if not more that what you want is actually not good for you and the other person who is telling you not to do it knows better so benefit of doubt is what is very important and sitting in this negotiation space allows the other person to be a constructive sounding board for you relationships are built upon healthy strong open honest conversations please don't muddy the water with unnecessary guilt don't take on the guilt and don't make somebody else feel guilty about something that is totally unnecessary either don't muddy the water with fear of being stuck or trapped know that in this relationship 
or in any relationship the core essence is always love the two of you are together whether it's parent child whether it is sibling whether it's friends or whether it's lovers you all are together because there is a certain kind of love between you all and there is a certain kind of respect also remember that at the end of the day this is about finding a win-win situation a win-win solution something with which you will feel happy and say okay there's progress and something with which the other person says fine this works for me the idea of negotiating in relationships is about being able to say you know what this works for me for now it's only about that and if you are being stubborn about what you want and you are throwing emotional tantrums and you're standing in this my way or the highway space then ask yourself what actually is going on why are you so hell bent and so stubborn on having it your way and if you want it your way then why is the other person's desire to have it their way invalid why do they not have a right to it so on that note i'm going to sign out of here but i hope that you've been listening to all the previous episodes they're available on the ivm app and website what you also want to do is head on to my instagram my handle is positivity angel I've started a new series on my IGTV which tells you how to listen to my podcast. Now what do I mean by how to listen to my podcast? Well, you can listen to all the episodes in order of 1 2 3 4 or you can pick up different episodes and different mindsets and create a combination based on what you are going through or a particular situation. So if you are broken hearted and you are struggling to move on there are specific episodes that you can listen to and there are exercises in that that can help you if you are feeling lost which is what the first video that i have done is about you want a sense of direction then on my instagram in my igtv there's a video called positively unlimited where i've spoken about i think seven episodes of this podcast that you can listen to and you can gain some amount of clarity and get that sense of direction that you want also do follow ivm podcasts on instagram and twitter yes that's their handle ivm podcasts and i will talk to you again next monday i hope you enjoyed that show i'd like to thank our sponsors this week paytm money and intel Really, really fun week, and I think that you guys should definitely check out some of the stuff we did. So we had Shifa Metra, who is the host of the show Smile India, on the Paperback podcast. Really fun thing. On Edges and Sledges, our hosts uh, had an episode just amongst themselves. No guests this time. Really fun show with lots of cool banter. I think you'll enjoy that quite a bit. On Storytellers and Story Sellers, Vineet had Trishti Bell on. Trishti is the head of Netflix in India, and I think you'll really enjoy that conversation as well. Also, do check out Uncle Please Sit. Joel and Tushar had Anuya Chatakar on. Anuya hosts the popular YouTube channel Books on Toast. And don't forget others of your old favorites like The Habit Coach, Football Should Ball, All Things Policy. All of them are doing a great job during this pandemic, and you should definitely check them out. And with that, we hope to see you again next week. Do you wish you were smarter? Well, so do we. But the next best thing, we could make you sound smarter. And to help you with this endeavor, we are Simplified, Woo-hoo. a podcast uh, that attempts to break down the complex world around you with a uh, little knowledge, a lot of poor jokes, and a ton of random trivia. Episodes out every Monday on the IVM Podcast app or wherever you get your podcasts. See, See ya. ya.